Okay, so you see now the rate of descent has reduced uh, and the speed is now starting to come back. So that's a good prompt for us to think, start thinking about uh, configuring the aircraft uh, for the approach. So we'll start using the flaps in a second. We can't go below the up speed here without having flaps selected. So now's a good time. So we're going to select flaps one. So the speed is checked and we'll go for flaps one. You'll see the flaps start to uh, come out there on the indicator. We're going to use speed intervent now and take control of the speed and match the, the speed bug to the flap one maneuvering speed. And we won't go below that speed without uh, selecting further flaps. There we go, so the speed's coming back quite nicely. We'll go for flap five now, which is another two clicks. And we'll match the speed to the flap five maneuvering speed. There we go. And what we can do is put approach mode on the standby uh, attitude indicator here. And we can see the localizer and the glide slope coming in quite nicely there. Uh, we're within a sensible range, so what we're going to do is select approach mode and select command A and B. And you see the localizer is captured. Make sure the runway heading is set in the heading bug. And there's the glide slope captured, but the missed approach altitude in the altitude window, which is 3,000 feet here. Now we're on the approach. You can see the runway ahead. We can go ahead and uh, do our before landing checks. So we put the gear down. We take flap 15, which is another two clicks on the flaps. You see the flap go to 15. We'll match the speed to the flap 15 speed. So the aircraft slows down a bit more. And then we can take the landing checklist down towards uh, flaps. So we'll put the start switches in continuous. I just put the landing lights on now as well. We'll assume we've been cleared to land. Uh, we we'll check the recall like before. There we go. Speed brake. We're going to arm it. There we go. And um, check for the green light. Landing gear is down three green. Order brake. We've got three set. And now we can configure for the landing. So. We've got flap 25 initially, one more notch of flaps, slow down to the flap 25 maneuvering speed, and you see here the flap 40 speed is 156, we are below that, so we can go all the way down to flap 40, Oops. So go for the VREF plus 5 speed, so now the aircraft is slowing down to the VREF plus 5 speed, it's a little bit above the glide slope, hopefully the autopilot should take care of that. And this should switch over in a moment to uh, CMD, there it is. And that uh, basically means that we're doing a dual channel approach. And we're going to check that uh, flare is armed, which is, you can see flares written in white there. As we pass 5, 000, uh, 500 feet, we're going to make sure that flare is armed for the auto land. Okay, there's 500 above the uh, aerodrome level. We're coming up to 500 on the radio altimeter as well. And we're going to make sure flares armed, which it is. A little bit high over the threshold here. Hopefully, it's not going to do anything silly. 40, 30, 20, That's flaring, 10. and there's the touchdown. The nose has derotated. We're going to disengage the auto throttle, autopilot, reverses. And take manual brakes, slow it down for the corner. Cancel the reverses. And that's it, we can exit the runway.